Welcome to In My Element. In this video, we're looking at generating electricity. What I'd like you to have a think about first is the different ways that you use electricity and where you think that comes from. So you've got three images there, one being um, playing games on screen on a games console, the other being charging a phone next to a laptop, and the final one being the TV, so watching a bit of Netflix. Where does the electricity come from to enable these appliances to work? Because the electricity is essential for this. So have to think about that. What we're going to take a look at is how we can generate electricity. So you've got one image there on the left of your screen that gives you one clue. Um, that's a picture of a power station. So what's burnt in a power station is fossil fuels. And hopefully you know that fossil fuel fuels include coal, oil and gas. Coal, oil and gas are non-renewable resources. And then there are also renewable resources. So you've got two images there, one of solar panels and one of wind turbines. And that's using a different type of resource that can be more easily sourced. Fossil fuels that are burned in the power stations take millions of years to be formed. So they are not easily replaced. And that's that's quite key. So whilst they can be used to generate large amounts of electricity, they're non-renewable. We can't replace them, certainly not in our lifetime. What we are going to explore first is how we generate the electricity specifically with fossil fuels. So you've got your image there of coal, that's your fossil fuel that we're going to burn. When we burn that fossil fuel, it will be placed in a boiler and it will burn in that boiler and it will heat um, water, which will generate steam. That steam will then turn a turbine. The turbine that is turned will generate electricity in the generator. That generator is in turn linked by many wires and pylons to what we know as the national grid and is then distributed about um, our country to enable electricity to go into our homes, our offices and our workplaces. Now, this is the level that you need to know for key stage three. If you're looking at this as a bit of a recap for key stage four, do remember that you need to find out about step up and step down transformers and the different factors that can affect the electricity as it's transferred to the national grid. But for the principles of key stage three, this is what you need to have a look at. This is a way that in a power station, electricity is generated with fossil fuels. So that's one way. The other way we need to be aware of is how electricity can be gen generated with renewable energy resources. So three images there, we're looking at the use of light, specifically here sunlight, the use of wind, those are wind turbines there in the middle, and also waves. Now, all three of those can be used to generate electricity. So, Sunlight can be used for or on solar panels. Okay, where the solar panels absorb the light, depending on the type of solar panel, will depend on how um, electricity can be generated. Then the wind turbines, wind is used obviously to turn those turbines. Turning a turbine will then generate electricity and that is then transported about. And waves will occur and they will drive generators and that will then generate the electricity. Now, as with anything, there's always issues and disadvantages. So there are many disadvantages that come with this, even though they are classed as renewable, which means we can more easily source them and they are they can be replaced or there is a large source of them. Um, there are many factors that can hinder these methods. What you've got to think about is which way is best. So on the left, we've got the renewable energy resources and on the right, we've got the non-renewable energy resources. So taking a look at the renewable resources over here on the left hand side, advantages are quite simply that they're never used up. The sun will continue to shine, it doesn't necessarily shine all 24 hours, but it is there, it does shine. 
On some days, there will be more sunshine than others. Um, Weather is always present. Whether it's reliable or not is a different matter. So there will be wind, there will be waves. How much is a question. And these three methods that are highlighted here um, do reduce pollution. So there's no there's no gases given off in using these. OK, there's no the amount of pollutants produced by using these renewable energy resources is so much lower than using fossil fuels. OK, however, the disadvantages of using these renewable energy resources are what we've just said about the weather's never guaranteed. And to set these up, so although you've got the picture of the sun here and you haven't actually got the picture of the solar panels, those solar panels to have them installed on your house are extremely expensive, the same as if they need to be replaced or fixed. And these turbines look very simple here. They are huge and come at a huge cost of setting up. So again, initial cost is high. Also, location for these is tricky with the wind turbines. Solar panels is slightly easier and there are such things as solar panel farms as well. But these, a lot of people complain about wind turbines when there's um, applications for wind farms put in. People don't like them. They think they are very ugly. OK, waves again. Um, there are ways of generating waves, but it can be thought to be tidal. To, it can be tidal too. And again, so it's not guaranteed. Now, if we take a look at the opposite side, we take a look at the non-renewable resources, the fossil fuels, minutes to burn to transfer the energy. And you can generate large amounts of electricity pretty quickly in those power stations. That's a massive advantage. However, to form some coal or some oil or some gas takes millions of years. And then you've got to mine it, to collect it. Also, it can't be replaced. So we will run out of these fossil fuels. They are not going to last forever. So there are many ways that we can look at um, reducing our use of them to prolong how long we've got fossil fuels for. And the burning of fossil fuels is well documented and well known to cause pollution. So those are your key points on the generating electricity. So you've got generating electricity by fossil fuels, generating electricity with non-renewable resources.